Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay tips and tricks video. This time around I'm going to be reviewing the tactical packages. I've had a lot of questions about the tactical packages as well as the support upgrades. Uh, these are brand new features in Halo franchise and um, they're going to make all the difference between winning and losing a game, okay? Um, if you don't understand these, if you haven't set them up properly or heaven forbid haven't set them up at all, you're probably going to find yourself losing a lot of games and you may not even realize why you're losing. And it's because your opponents have, uh, you know, on the back end, put together these tactical packages and support upgrades that are really impacting the game, but not necessarily in a visible way. And so if you do it right, you're going to win a lot of games. If you do it wrong, you're going to lose a lot of games. It's never fun to lose. It's always fun to win. So I'm going to help you do that. I'm going to explain all the different uh, packages and upgrades and uh, you'll really give you the very best opportunity to win every single game. So let's jump right in here. I'm going to hit the start menu, uh, go into customize the loadouts. Now each loadout has a lot of different components, uh, weapons and armor abilities, tactical packages and upgrades. Um, there's too much information to cover it all in one video. So today, this video, I'm going to focus primarily on the tactical packages and uh, future videos, I'll focus on support upgrades, armor abilities, weapons, and so forth. So let's dive right into the tactical packages here. Um, again, you can go in and customize these uh, before the game. You can uh, have up to five different loadouts as long as you've ranked up high enough. Um, and then during the game, you can change to different loadouts, which have different tactical packages if you set it up properly. And I do recommend that you have different tactical packages with each different loadout because situationally in each game, you may want to adjust the package that you're using depending on the way that the game is unfolding or depending on the game type that you're playing, okay? Now, tactical packages are different than armor abilities. You know, armor abilities, I'll go back to the armor ability list for a moment. Uh, all these different abilities you see here, you're going to use these at a discrete point in the game. So, for example, the regen field, right? Your shields are low, you hit a button, the regen field pops up. Okay, that's a specific event. Okay, that happens at a specific time during the game. The tactical packages and support upgrades are just kind of overarching overall abilities that enhance your Spartan uh, basically at different points during the game. They just give you more like a, abilities... Uh, or superpower as opposed to uh, a specific event, okay? So that's going to be a little bit more clear as we get into them, so let me just do that right now. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to throw them in the comments below. So I'm going to start with mobility because this is an A-plus tactical package. I'm going to give each package a grade. This is an A-plus package, okay? Let me tell you why. Mobility allows you to sprint indefinitely, okay? Without this, you can only sprint for a couple seconds, then you slow down. With this, you can sprint as long as you want. Now, the reason this is such a good package is because it's useful in all game types. It's useful in all situations. It's useful both offensively and defensively. You can use it all the time. Uh, it's very, very versatile, okay? If you're playing big team, you can get across the map very quickly. If you're playing objective, you can get to the objective very quickly. If you're playing regicide, you can get to the king very quickly doesn't matter what the situation is, it's going to come in handy. If you're being chased down, if you're getting hunted down, if you're getting shot at, you can escape, you can run away, and you don't have to worry about getting caught, okay? So that's what makes the mobility package very, very powerful. It's an A-plus ability, okay? Uh, moving on down the list, we've got Grenadier. This allows you to carry an extra grenade, okay? Um, that, that can be situationally... A very nice ability to have that extra grenade especially if you use it in tandem with the support upgrade explosives let me go back to that momentarily here again I'm not going to focus on support upgrades but if you use explosives which uh, basically increases your grenade performance making it much more powerful as well as reducing the grenade damage that you receive this is a very very good combination so again that's explosives and Grenadier. Okay, so if you have extra grenades and those grenades are more powerful, that's a really great combination. But again, it's situational. Okay, so if you're playing um, especially objective games like King of the Hill or Dominion, where you know your enemies are going to be kind of clustered in one area or they're kind of fortified in a base, you need those grenades to take them down. Okay, this is a, this is a very good ability. However, 
other maps or other game types, you know, it's a so-so ability, okay? So I'm going to give this, uh, this tactical package a B as long as you're using it with the explosives upgrade, okay? If you're using those two together, this is a great package. Moving along, firepower. I'm going to give this, uh, this package a B as well. It's very popular, but limited in my opinion. Firepower allows you to use a uh, primary weapon in your secondary slot, okay? So typically you're going to have a DMR, battle rifle, assault rifle in your primary slot, and then your secondary slot you'll have like a magnum pistol or a plasma pistol, okay? But this allows you to have like a DMR in your primary and your secondary weapon's a battle rifle or vice versa, or you can throw an assault rifle in the mix and have two primary weapons. Now, that can be very, very helpful, okay? But again, it is limited situationally because... Um, you know, in some situations, you may not need that secondary weapon. Actually, in a lot of situations, you're not going to need a primary weapon in your secondary spot, okay? Sometimes that's useful, to be sure, but other times it's not, because a lot of times during the game, you can simply swap out your secondary weapon for a power weapon or for another weapon that you find lying on the ground. And so to have those two primary weapons to load out with, that, that can be great, but you know, you don't always need it. It's not always going to come in handy. So I'm going to give this uh, package a B, okay, because it is very useful. I do like it a lot. Let's move on to shielding. Shielding basically, uh, nope, I don't want to buy it. Uh, shielding definitely uh, allows you to recharge your shields a little bit more quickly. Now, they're not going to recharge while you're being shot, so you're going to have to find a way to take cover or maybe get a teammate to step in there for you and give you a little bit of support. But uh, you do recover your shields a little bit more quickly. Now, I'm going to give this one a C because it's only useful when you're being shot and when you can take cover, okay? Which, that may only happen a couple times during a game. And a lot of times, maybe you can recover even at a slower rate and it wouldn't make a big deal. So, you know, this can be kind of nice if you feel like you're just dying all the time. But I, I think that there's other packages that would help you uh, in more situations, okay? So I'm going to give this a C because it can be useful, but it's very, very limited, and it's very passive ability. It's only good in, in a very limited situations when you're really just getting crushed, and you have to be able to get away to recharge anyway, all right? Let's go down to resupply. Resupply is an interesting ability. In, in prior Halo games, you could just pick up grenades off the ground and carry them with you. You can't do that in, anymore in Halo 4. I don't know if you've noticed, but you, you load out with some grenades, and once they're gone, they're gone. You can't pick up any more. But resupply allows you to pick up grenades from, you know, fallen opponents, okay? Um, I'm going to give this I'm gonna give this package a D, okay? I think this is a, a lousy package, to be honest with you, because you can still pick up grenades that are basically placed around the map, like through ordnance drops, and additionally... A lot of times there's not going to be grenades for you to pick up anyway. Okay, even if you have this ability, that doesn't guarantee there's going to be grenades for you to pick up. And even if you do pick them up, you know, you're going to lob them, they're going to be gone, and you may or may not, they may or may not help you at all. So this is, I mean, this is really only going to come in handy in very, very limited situations. I think it's a very limited ability. I don't like it. I'm going to give it a D. It, again, if you do choose to use it, I would again recommend that you go back to that explosives support upgrade, right? Um, which allows you to basically increase the power of your grenades. So if you're using those two together, then, you know, resupply might be okay, but still, it's at best, it's only an okay ability. Uh, AA efficiency, that's armor ability efficiency. Um, this allows your armor abilities to recharge a little bit more quickly. And this is especially helpful if you're using our, your armor abilities a lot, like Promethean Vision, or jetpack or hard light shield. If you find yourself just constantly using your armor ability, this will help recharge that much more quickly. Uh, this is similar to mobility in that it's just useful in a lot of different situations. It's useful a lot of times, all different game types. So I'm going to give this one an A minus just because it's very versatile. It's useful in a lot of different situations, and um, you know it's not really overwhelming, but you're going to find that it is very useful uh, most of the time. So that's a pretty big deal. Now there's a few tactical packages I haven't upgraded, I haven't unlocked, so I can't show them to you, but I can certainly explain them to you, and they're very interesting. One is called Fast Track, which is unlocked after you complete the Pioneer specialization, 
And uh, this basically allows you to level up a lot more quickly. So as long as you have this tactical package on, you're going to get a lot more points and be able to uh, upgrade a lot more quickly. Um, so that's a, that's an interesting ability. Um, I'm not really going to give it a grade because it just depends. If you want to level up quickly, it's great. If you don't care about leveling up quickly, then you know it's useless. So it's just situational. The other one uh, that I have not unlocked yet is Requisition, which is unlocked after completing the Tracker specialization. And uh, this uh, tactical package is basically when you get an ordinance drop, if you don't like the three choices you have, you can request three new choices before the ordinance drops. I'm going to give this one uh, a D as well. This is a ridiculously poor uh, tactical package. Okay, It's not going to be very useful because you only get two, maybe three ordinance drops in a game. And most of the time, you're going to find something you like in the first ordinance drop. You're not even going to need to request a second one. And half the time, it's just it's very, very limited. It's just not going to be useful very often. Um, you know, you may use it once a game at most. A lot of games, you'll never use it. Some games don't even have ordinance drops. So this is a very limited tactical package. It's called Requisition. Don't use it. Um, finally, I'm going to get to the last one I have not yet unlocked, which is Wheelman which is unlocked after you complete the operator specialization, which I have not done yet. Uh, but this is actually a really cool one. This one basically increases the durability of the vehicles that you're driving. So I've noticed the vehicles are a little bit weaker in Halo 4 than in other games. They're a little bit easier to destroy. And if you have that wheel man, they're a lot stronger, more reinforced. And that can be great if you're playing on a big team map with a lot of vehicles and you're going to drive them. So I would say situationally, I'm going to give this one an A-, minus, okay, because it's very handy if you're going to drive those vehicles. However, in uh, a lot of maps, there are no vehicles, or maybe you're not going to be driving vehicles. And so in those cases, this ability is completely useless. So you may want to go in and customize your loadouts before or after playing big team games where there's going to be vehicles. You may want to turn the wheelman on for some of your packages and your loadouts. Uh, when you're going into big team and then turn them off and you go into other you know game types choose a different ability so that's all the different ability uh, different tactical packages rather and uh, I've given a grade for each one if you have any questions about how to use them or, or whatnot go ahead and leave those in the comments below um, I have a lot of other gameplay commentaries and a lot of other tips and tricks on my channel so make sure to check those out uh, the next couple videos, I'm going to be featuring support upgrades, weapons, armor abilities, so on and so forth. So make sure that you've subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those videos. I have a lot of great content that you don't want to miss. It's going to make a real big difference in the quality of play. So again, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Add this to your favorites. I'll see you next time. Halo Reach Tutor, signing out.